Stephen A. 64, and I'm hitting you guys with a uh, Impact Wrestling video. This is about what happened recently on Impact. Uh, the most recent show, which was um, just a few days ago. Alright, um, so I'd like to just get you up to speed. Uh, at the end, I'll talk about uh, the tape show for next week and uh, get you guys' thoughts on it. Um, so, Bully makes his way to the ring and talks about, um, basically, uh, how Devon, and wants to know why Devon lost, and how he got pinned, and basically, he says Devon's just, he, they're pulling an, I think, they're pulling the thing is that Devon, to Bully, Bully was always, to Bully, Devon was always useless, and basically could not do anything, and, um, so... Basically, he says that the new, basically, Sergeant and Arms will be Tito Ortiz. And says he's going to give him a cut. And then uh, Anderson is all PO'd because uh, they're not voting anymore. Bully just making a decision because he's the president and that's all that matters. So, um, I thought this was a alright angle. You can tell by later on the show what will happen. And I'll tell you guys then and I'll... Then I'll talk about a little bit on the spoil section of the uh, show. Alrighty. Um, so we get another video of uh, Jeff Hardy as well talking about um, his BFG series and how it's now time to put up a shut up. Um, and this was good. But the problem is, is that there were so many good promos, but then you don't put those guys in. And so, alright. So, um, let me just get comfortable here. Alright, um, so basically we talk about, um, so then we get a break. Um, alright, I'm just reading this off a piece of paper because I forgot about it. Alright, um, so we get a BFG series match with Jeff Hardy versus Kazarian. Now, this was a good match, um, but one of the main problems with it is that, um, Jeff won by pinfall, and again, it just seems like all these people are going to need so much focus going into the BFG series. you think they would try as hard as they could for a submission win. And he got that with um, some degree now. But it just... And also, Ego cannot interfere. Hulk Hogan says that Ego cannot interfere, otherwise they will be, they will lose their spot entirely in the BFG series. So, um, so, Hordy wins via pinfall and is now seven points and now he's in third place of the BFG series. Now, all right. Jeff Hardy is my favorite wrestler. Then we had the knockouts number contender match. I'm sorry, I did not watch this. I do not want ODB in the freaking title picture and she wins. Oh my god. ODB versus Mickey James. It's time for Botch Fest like 3,000. I don't like Mickey James. I don't like ODB, and this is just going to be bad. Now, Mickey can be good, but the problem is she wants to do all these sparkly moves that she can't pull off. And she might be able to do it, but her opponents suck. And TNA needs to get new knockouts, and they need to get them now. Not tomorrow, not in a week. They need to get them now. Anybody. And also, before the match, you get a promo of Velvet Sky, I believe. This might be before or after. Um, but um Velvet is the camera guys. I asked her, why did you miss that hardcore justice? And she says I had personal issues, and then they asked them, Well, they're Chris Saban personal issues, and um like, okay. So this could lead to an angle of them like I 
guess becoming like like the relationship coming onto screen to give I guess Velvet Sky more of a valet rule valet rule and uh, Chris Sabin. It's gonna be interesting. Um, so then Okay, blah 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 blah. And Sting gives a promo on how AJ wants him to be in the mafia and all this stuff. But um AJ says he's gonna do this on his own and says how he respects the mafia, but he needs to do this on his own. And Um then AJ cuts an amazing promo. Uh, just a really great promo by um them by AJ. I gotta give him full credit. That was a really awesome promo that he pulled out. Um, mentioned CM Punk, the best in the world. Says he's phenomenal. So um, it was a, they did a shot at WWE there, and um, yeah, we got some really good promos this week. I. Uh, AJ Leap cut a pretty good promo um, on Raw. Mm, it was pretty good. And uh, AJ Styles cuts an amazing promo. I would easily say uh, AJ Styles beats AJ Leap promo by a mile. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy that AJ's doing this. And now... Coming up next would be, uh, I think it was AJ Styles versus um, Bobby Roode. Yes, Bobby Roode. So, um, this was a really, really good match. Um, so, I thought this was a fairly good match. I thought it was really good, actually. Um, yeah, there was some really cool moments, uh, each person trying to go for submissions, of course, so they can move on. Bobby, I think Bobby and Magnus were safe at this point. Um, yeah, I thought they were really good matches. Nothing to really complain about, but again... Do you see the importance of a submission win, and AJ just goes for a pinfall? Now, he'll, in a minute, I'll talk about Hogan's promo, and, uh, I mean, alright, but, again, it just seems like it would, why would he go for, he just hit the Styles Clash, why don't you put him... And the calf killer and win and make him remember in rest in TNA if the guy pulls the guy's hand down three times you win by submission and if you could get him down for three you could probably get him dead center put on the calf killer and win I don't see uh, I guess it was just in the heat of the moment you go for a pinfall by natural instincts okay. All right, then you get uh, Christopher Daniels versus Austin Aries. All right, um, again, Ego cannot interfere in this one. If they do, the two the person that interfered will lose their spot in the BFG series. And yeah, the two people that were involved with the interference would be uh, penalized in the BFG series by losing their spots. Um, I thought that was really good, very nice. Uh, AJ Styles versus Christopher Daniels, fantastic. I would actually actually to give this my match of the night. I really enjoyed it. Um, and so Austin Aries moves on into the BFG series. Um, and see this, I guess again, the winner has a a finisher that is a submission. I don't see why he didn't go for it again. It just to me, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But again, I will talk about now Hogan's promo that will basically set up uh, now. 
So basically, Hogan comes out, says how he's been dealing with it. Bully comes out, gives him the divorce papers. Uh, I'll talk about the main thing in here in a minute. Gives him the divorce papers, and uh, all right. And then he talks about how next week will be a twenty-point gauntlet match for uh, the for twenty points in the BFG series. All right, cool, cool beans. So um, again, I don't. So it does make sense now, but did everybody in the BFG series know there was going to be a 20-point gauntlet? Said, oh, I can I can try to win that and get there. Okay, then I would have said, okay, then they're just trying to get the seven points, so that way maybe they can be bumped up to first if they win the gauntlet. But I, I think a submission win by... I mean, I didn't know. I think with a submission win by Aries, he would have clinched his spot in the BFG series. As I don't think AJ would have, but no matter. All right, so there's a 12-man uh, gauntlet. And from the rumors, I've heard just basically a, nine, a Royal Rumble popping in men like that. And then he says next week, uh, there's going to be... Um... It's going to be, uh, uh, Bully Ray in the next two weeks will have to defend his title. And Hogan messed up by saying Steen would get another world title shot. And I wanted to clear those rumors up. TNA has tweeted that it is a non-title match because of the stipulation. So anybody that was worried about it can rest assured Steen is not getting another world title match. Because of the stipulation at Slammiversary, which was, okay, good. They stick to the thing. Hogan messed up. All right. Um, so then you, that's pretty much it for that episode of Impact. I'm about to get into the spoilers. Um, so the people that will want to click off, click off now. And um, I'll see you guys in the future. But now to people who want to stick around for the spoilers, here we go. It's not very big, spoily details. I'm just giving you guys on some of the matches that uh, that I've known. Is that Nux beat Chris Sabin by DQ. So, uh, there's that. And AJ Styles won the 12-man gauntlet match and 20 points in the BFG series. Now, this will set up. Now, the people that have clinched their spot in the BFG series are Magnus. It's number one, coming in at first is AJ Styles, then Magnus, then Rude, um, then Austin Aries. And AJ says he's going to be facing Austin Aries in the semi-freaking finals for um, the um, Bound for Glory series. So that's going to leave uh, Magnus versus Bobby Rude, which I'm sure Bobby Rude will win. And I think then AJ being... And all will win the BFG series. At, no, so, Rinder, sorry about that. I've got no doubts in my mind AJ's going to win after the amazing promo he cut. Uh, I would highly suggest to watch it. Um, Yeah, so AJ won the 12-man gauntlet. That's going to, no surrenders, looking to be awesome. And then uh, Wes Briscoe and Garrett Bischoff beat uh, James Storm and Gunner in a non-title match. Oh, my God. No, why? Get them off my television screen. I don't want them. Oh, God. It's all no surrender. Oh, horrendous, horrendous. That's going to be crap. Tina, you're doing a very good job on this pay-per-view of putting really good stuff and then crap I could not even give about. Like, I imagine the Knockouts title match was going to be on there. I don't care. I don't, if Wes Briscoe and Garrett Bischoff are in a match, I don't care. And, um, oh, okay. As well, is that uh, Sting de defeated Bull uh, Bully Ray via submission in a non-title match. And I forgot to say this, 
so uh, people that stick around for the spoilers will know this, is that um, Aces and the... Hogan also made a match that one of the Aces and H is going to have to fight for the world title. And Mr. Anderson's been getting mad recently, and he said, Bully, I'm going to be the guy, the guy from Aces and H who will be challenging for the TNA title at No Surrender, which will be awesome. We've seen this match before. It's pretty good. can be better. Um, so, No Surrender, again, looking up to be a good pay-per-view. I have no doubt in my mind it's going to be Bully Ray versus AJ Styles. Again, uh, Saban does deserve a rematch clause. I don't see why you couldn't just put that there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you could get a triple threat. AJ Styles versus um, Chris Saban versus Bully Ray. Oh, that would be good. He and A, you should totally do that. Do that, all right? So I'm going to clock out for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this episode of uh, my Impact Thoughts. So, uh, peace.